Hey Andy, well still a heavy law enforcement presence out here this evening. We know Homeland Security Investigations is the lead agency investigating here tonight and they tell us one suspect was shot and another suspect who initially fled the scene is now in custody. You can see the investigators are focusing on this SUV here. FBI is out here assisting in this investigation and they've been out here throughout the afternoon and in the evening. Now HSI says the shooting involved suspects and officers during an organized crime drug enforcement task force operation. FBI assisted HSI in initiating the investigation. The shooting involved a deputy constable from precinct four and witnesses tell KTSM the suspect was a man saying the scene was chaotic leading up to the shooting with one person getting CPR near a gold Nissan Pathfinder that was up on the median and it had several bullet holes. The incident happening in an area near a busy intersection. One witness says the pursuit started near the Ojos Locos restaurant. I saw the cops already like swarming in and the same mean guns at the guy and then well of course they went in grabbed him and then I saw someone getting like CPR and that was about it. They came from Ojos and then destroyed that water thing and all the water was shooting everywhere that's about it. Now, the investigation also caused the major traffic closures, closing the intersection near Zaragoza and Montwood, as well as Joe Battle, as the investigation continued. Now, at this time, no word yet on who the suspect is or his condition at this time. HSI continues this investigation. We'll, of course, keep you updated as we learn any new information. Andy, back to you. Yeah, and Stephanie, we know this caused some heavy traffic in the area with a handful of closures this evening. How are the roads right now, and were there any nearby businesses that may have been affected in any way? Yeah, Andy, so like I said earlier, you know, Montwood, that intersection over there by Zaragoza was closed. It is open right now, but this stretch right here of Zaragoza, right here under the, the 375 underpass, this is still closed. As you can see, HSI is still out here and they're investigating. So you can expect this area to stay closed throughout the night as this investigation continues. And as far as the businesses that we spoke with, they did not need to shelter in place or anything like that, but they did say they were impacted as many people could not get to the business because of those closures. All right, Stephanie Shields has been on this breaking news for us all evening. Stephanie, thank you very much. Turning our attention to weather now as we take